want to show in this video a audio amplifier that I've made in the past with very good properties. Especially when you want to play music on a very low audio level in your uh, living room. So let's listen. And the good thing from this audio amplifier is that you can uh, change the complete frequency band with the help of three potentiometers. Listen again. I add now more medium and high. And now I bring back the medium and high. You hear a very dull sound now. But that has all to do with the filter here. Turn it back and again. So, uh, in my opinion, a very interesting way of filtering audio out with the help of three potentiometers for each channel. Let's look at the schematic. This is the book that I published. And on the background you hear the music with a frequency range set to more or less medium. So I want to change that uh, audio band to a somewhat other sound anyway. And especially this part of that circuit is, in my opinion, useful. When you want to play music on a very low audio level in your room, uh, this is a good circuit. It has a very warm sound. And this is how it was made. Perhaps you can hear it now on the background. And I want to show the end amplifier. And that's here. This is not the pre-amplifier that gives it all the very good properties. But of course you can use this also as an end amplifier.
So when you want to have a good sound in your home situation, uh, this is a very good circuit to make. And I never published publish a real power audio amplifiers. Five up to eight watts is more than enough for a good sound in a living room. Sorry. I wanted to make the picture uh, better visible. <laughs> 